Chương trình này được bảo trợ bởi Family Joy tổ ấm y tế của mọi gia đình 714 898 0765. Hi, welcome back to the OC Health and Education Show on Little Saigon TV. I am your host, Julie Yip. Today, we have an opportunity to meet with two wonderful people in my life, um, Georgiana Kelman and Brandon Kelman. Today, we have an opportunity to talk about graduation, the importance of graduation, and more importantly, the importance of inclusivity. That is, how is it that we can make sure that children that have autism or any other disabilities are included in the high school experience or the educational experience and afforded all the opportunities to make friends and have the support and, and, and you know, experience what, what high school looks like. During COVID, it's been very challenging for all of our students, those in elementary school, high school, and in college. So graduation this year is especially great and especially a, a, a important time to celebrate. Julie Yip kính chào quý vị khán giả của Little Saigon TV. Julie hôm hân hạnh mời được hai quý khách đó là Georgiana Kelman and Brandon Kelman. Hôm nay chúng ta có thời gian nói chuyện về graduation. Graduation năm nay là rất là đặc biệt. Tại trong một Covid nhiều trẻ em và nhiều học sinh có rất là nhiều cái khó khăn để cho tới mức tới được cái mức đã hôm nay thì mình sẽ quan mình sẽ tiếp tục um, celebrate cái, cái, cái phát triển về cái phần cái accomplishment năm nay. Uh, Julie hy vọng quý vị có thời gian xem lên mạng mỗi cái hình của bạn của Julie, của gia đình của Julie uh, được ra trường. Một đứa là đó là bé um, bé bé um, Daniel mới ra trường first grade. Mình cũng có mấy bạn uh, sang uh, là cũng graduate class full trường với bằng master. Cũng vân vân có rất nhiều bạn uh, ra trường. Thì Julie hy vọng hôm nay mình nói có thời gian nói chuyện thêm về cái kinh, về cái experience của mọi mọi bạn mà về có cái khó khăn về COVID. Uh, Georgiana, I was just mentioning that how important it is for us to have this experience today and why it's so important, Brandon, for us to celebrate this year. Because you didn't just graduate, you completed a full year under very unusual circumstances and you excelled and you graduated and you conquered. And so I just want to say congratulations. And I want to hear about how difficult or how easy it was for you for COVID and you know, having doing your senior year during COVID. Tell me a little bit about um, doing school on Zoom. It was, it was difficult. I didn't like look staring at the screen oh. <laughs> and learning. Yeah, he had a really... Go ahead. But it's difficult like, learning and uh, the computer just couldn't keep a focus. Yeah, he couldn't keep focus very long. Like, you know, like many kids, the distance learning platform was absolutely not conducive to learning. And not so much, I mean, not, there's so many aspects that went wrong with, with the distance learning mm -hmm. platform, but I think what kids lost the most, especially kids like Brandon, is that socialization aspect, yes, the interaction, yes. the having friends and, and, and being at school and socially interacting and being a part of those clubs and activities for my son was basketball. You know, mm -hmm. it became such a huge part of his life. And all of a sudden, all of those social opportunities that he was accessing, which were fairly new to him in his new high school, mm -hmm. were all gone. And everyone is sort of off doing their whole thing and sort of those connections were lost a little bit. Um, and he found himself alone in his room a lot. And it was difficult, but I'm still so proud of him because regardless of how hard that was, he got up every morning on his own. Wow. He would set his alarm, he would take his shower, he would have everything set on Zoom, he would log online, he would focus, he would pay attention, he would show up for all the different times of classes that he was expected to be there. So mm -hmm. despite the, the isolation, how difficult it was, I'm very proud of the fact that he continued to do that every single day and, and did very well. And in the end, he ended up you know, within his modified curriculum, he got honors. And so he excelled and accomplished. So I'm extremely proud that despite an extremely challenging time, he persevered and he got his graduation um, ceremony in the end, which was great. They got to physically be there and actually have a graduation. That was the, the pinnacle of it all. Well, Brandon, thank you so much for your honesty. You know, says I know the, the pandemic is hard for all of us. And, you know, being on the screen and staring at the computer all day, it's not easy. You know, not easy for the kids and not easy for the moms and dads who have to do it. And, you know, I, I applaud you 
for being so independent, having all the little skills to do that. I mean, even as adults, Georgiana, you and I probably have a hard time getting up. I know the first uh, few months, I had a hard time even getting dressed or partially dressed from the waist up that people can right. see me, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I think that that's kind of what it is that, that, that we did. You know, thưa, 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 thưa quý vị, uh, Brandon chia sẻ với, với chúng tôi đó là trong một COVID rất là khó khăn cho Brandon là chừng nào Brandon uh, học Zoom á, thì phải lên mạng mãi, phải phải nhìn vô cái computer mỗi ngày á, thì cũng cũng hơi khó chịu về, cũng hơi um, khó học. Mà Georgina chia sẻ đó là Brandon là rất có cái nhiều independence là tự làm được, tự thức dậy, tự set up alarm để cho thức dậy đúng đúng giờ lúc, tự học vô trong lớp. Uh, trong một covid đó, là nhiều nhiều lúc với nhiều nhiều mình có cái kinh nghiệm nghiệm cái bằng isolation là mình muốn tiếp xúc với mọi người mà trong một covid đâu có nhiều học sinh không có cái thời gian mà tiếp xúc với các bạn bè you know, thì cái đó là rất là khó khăn trong cái năm đây mà Julie thấy là nhiều học sinh mà ra trường năm đây đó rất là đặc biệt như you know, Georgiana is such a special opportunity for us to see the strength of our children of our peers of our colleagues of our friends who was able to graduate this year, you know, that, you know, they, they've gone through so much challenges and they continue to persevere. So if there's a word to describe Brandon, what would that be for you? And Brandon, I want you to think about it. Um, what is one word that describes who you are, Brandon, or your accomplishments? Do you want me to say or do you want to say? I know oh, what mom, I Mom, you can start first. Brandon can think about it. I think, I, well, I have two words. Can I have two words? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, primarily um, survivor, for sure, and warrior. I think my son is a combination of having defeated tremendous odds because he fought and he persevered, which makes him an absolute survivor. And um, he succeeded within his limitations and disability to um, defy you know, terrible prognoses that said he wouldn't go very far, um, uh -huh. especially in his educational journey. And the fact that he graduated from high school um, is a tremendous source of pride for me and an indication that he is a big fighter, even though he's yawning right now. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, you... mom's calling you a warrior and a fighter. What's a word that describes you? How do you describe yourself? Um... Independent. Independent. I like that. Wow. Independent. That is amazing. I know that's what I heard mom say about you too earlier. She said that during COVID and during, um, you know, distant learning, you were independent. Mm -hmm. You set up your own alarms. You woke up by yourself. You logged in. You were in that room by yourself and doing class, right? So well, that's he amazing. Had, um, since the beginning of his educational journey at three years old, he had a one to one aid. And this year in COVID, he was so tired of dealing with his aide who was here at home for a while and then on Zoom. And he said to me, I don't need an aide. I'm a senior in high school. I am independent <laughs> enough. I've learned these skills. I don't want my aide anymore. So we removed the aide and I said, okay, you proved to me that you can do this. And he absolutely owned it. And wow. he followed his own schedule. He showed up on time. He was there for all of his services, for all of his classes. And so he really proved that he, he really truly did develop that independent skill. You know, Brandon, I really love your self-advocacy. So when I describe you, I would say you're an advocate. You're you know an advocate for great. yourself and you're telling mom what you want and what you need. And, you know, for a person like you to say, hey, I want to fire my advocate. I mean, I want to fire my one on one aide. That's amazing. And your mom listened to you, right? He literally said that. He's like, I want you to fire him. I'm <laughs> done. That's literally what he said. Yeah. Right? You know, it's going to tell you everything you do, everything you Uh huh. Wow, you know, like I, I love that about you, Brandon. You know, definitely being an advocate is such an important part. Uh, thưa quý vị, Brandon, hôm nay Julie hỏi là là một cái câu đó là một cái chữ mà mà describe Brandon là cái gì? Đó là nó là, là Brandon nói đó là independent là có cái thời gian là tự do được tự làm được. À, tại tại Brandon họ trong mùa senior year đó, là cũng có một cái ấy là có một cái người tiếp tiếp cho cho Brandon là trong trong năm đó mà Brandon đó, là không có cho cái người đó à, giúp Brandon nữa tại Brandon muốn tự do hơn thì mẹ của Brandon đó, là cái người uh, special ed advocate uh, cũng là the attorney đó, mà cũng vẫn nghe lời Brandon Julie thấy đó là Brandon là một cái người là advocate là tự 
tin và tự um, nói cho cho người mỗi người hiểu được cái 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 khó khăn của Brandon. Uh, Julie um, cảm ơn quý vị đã theo dõi chương trình kiến thức y khoa gia đình và xã hội. Julie hy vọng tiếp tục nói thêm về uh, về graduation và phần phần cuối hôm nay.